everyone, Cynthia Luhu here. I just wanted to do a little tutorial on the matchboxes because for some of those that are in matchbox swaps or don't join them because they don't have the 250 count matchboxes and they can't find them, um, this is a way for you to make your own matchbox. This is the exact same size as the 250 count large max much matchbox. <laughs> So um, what you're going to do is you're, I'm doing a double decker and my partner's Gina, yay. I'm in a uh, matchbox swap at the scrap, at my scrap room. I'll put a, dis a link in the description um, for um, Gina's website. It's so fun there. It's just so awesome. So anyway, I joined um, the matchbox swap and I didn't want to go buy matches and then waste all those matches because it's double decker so that'd be 500 matches and I don't know what I would do with them. I guess I could take them camping or something. Anyway, so I just I decided to figure out the dimensions and, and how to do it and Jordy helped me. Thank you Jordy. Um, so for your uh, drawers you're going to want a five in it, or a five by seven um, and since I'm doing a double decker I have two. So you have a five by seven piece of chipboard and this chipboard's black. And then you're going to score it at one and a quarter inches all the way around. Okay. I'll go from here. Okay, so hopefully you can see the score lines on there. And then what you're going to do to make your drawer, this is what I do. You can just cut it right here and then glue that inside there, but I like mine a little bit neater. And just in case there's a little extra bulk, I cut my flap down. So cut your score lines, just these ones. And I'll have the dimensions in the description. Fold all your score lines. Actually, I want it to be this way. I want shiny side out. And then what I do here is I just, um, I cut like halfway and then snip that inside corner off. That's just how I do it because I don't want it to be bulky inside there and get stuck. Even though it might match up perfect, see this one doesn't. You can see a little teeny line on the top of there and I don't like that. So this way you've got a little movement. You can push it around and make sure that it's perfectly flush. I may just be anal. I don't know. And now you're ready to glue all your little tabbies on the inside of the box. Or the drawer. So that's your drawer. I'll glue mine real quick. There's the drawer, and now I'm going to show you how to make the cover. And I'm not going to decorate this um, on film because I want it to be a surprise for Gina. I'm so excited, she's my partner. <laughs> okay, so the next one you're going to take your chipboard and you're going to cut it at four and a half inches wide because you want it to cover this box. 
back, so I'm going to cut this at four and a half inches because that's how wide my box is. And now you're going to score it. And I need to grab my score because it fell on the floor. There it is. And yes, I grabbed it with my toes. <laughs> okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to score it at... You're going to score it at this width, which is two and a half. And a little extra because you want this to fit inside. So what I do is I do a half of an eighth of an inch, whatever that is, a three sixteenths, I think, or something like that. So I'm going to go to two and a half, which is right here, and then I'm going to give it a little to the next line on my cutter. Where, okay, so where did I put it? Where's my score? Oh, it's in, okay. And I'm going to lightly score it because this score, this cuts through. Okay, and then my next score line, because <clears throat> the height of the box is one and a quarter. I'm going to do one and a quarter and I'm going to add another little bit extra. So there's a one and a quarter and I'm going to go to the next line. Lightly score it. And then I'm going to go to two and a half again. Go to the next line. Glad I looked at that because that's two and a half. There's the next line. And then you're going to want to score it at one and a quarter plus that little extra line again. And now you're going to want to cut it a quarter inch after that, at a quarter of an inch. So the dimension of your cover is, let's figure it out real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a quarter. No, eight and an eighth. And then, of course, it's um, four and a half wide. So eight and one eighth by four and a half. So now I'm going to fold all my score lines. And right here on this last teeny score line that I did, I'm just going to cut just a little bit off. Just like that. And I want shiny side out again. score line at the end. That's going to be my tab that I'm going to glue. So that's going to glue right on the bottom here. Okay, so I'm going to glue that. And I'm going to try to get it in place while it's still warm. And if I don't make it, I can put it in my heat gun to it, and then re-adjust it. So there's one, and I need to do one more. There's one finished. So I hope this helps. Um, if you haven't joined Matchbox Swaps because you don't have one, there you go. Okay, thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye-bye.